Lenovo Social. We're here at the 20th anniversary ThinkPad celebration. I'm here with Kevin Beck. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Gavin. How you doing? We're going to give you the fastest ever <laughs> trip down memory lane for yep. 20 years of ThinkPad. Kevin, we're going to start here. Joe, yep. if you want to zoom in on this one. All right. This I'm just going to talk really fast. This is the original design model for the ThinkPad. This is 1990, early 1992-ish, maybe late 1991. Uh, moving on here, this is the first uh, actual ThinkPad. Interesting story behind this. It was marketed originally as the IBM, uh, I think, 2521. Uh, and then the other ThinkPad came out, so we went back and named it the ThinkPad. It was called the 700T. It's a tablet with a pen. It is a tablet Sound with a pen. Familiar? Windows 3.1 yep. tablet with a pen. This is the original, the, the daddy, the uh, ThinkPad 700C. Uh, and a lot thicker and heavier than stuff we're used to seeing nowadays, but uh, you know everybody had to start somewhere. And then we get into 93. Right, 750C. Uh, well, these were all chosen for some degree of historical significance to be here. This is the first one to ever fly on the uh, space shuttle. Right, so and we've got one that was succeeded by you know current generations up to the the latest ones that are still up on the, uh, the international space station. Astronaut Rick Searfoss is with us tonight. We're hoping to talk to him exactly. later. Uh, and then probably the most famous of all ThinkPads from the uh, early to mid '90s, the Key 701C, the butterfly keyboard. I'll just give you a brief look here. See how that works. Uh, it's magical. All right, this is back in the day when. Uh, Screens were 10 inches, but uh, nobody had a full-size keyboard, so that was our answer. Yep. See our other video right. with David Hill on that one, and then we go to, still in 1995. Right, this is the ThinkPad 755 CDV. Uh, I don't have time to do it right now, but this had a unique feature. Back when people, before projectors, when people were still using overhead projectors, uh, the entire back of the screen would come off, and the screen was transparent, so you could fold the screen down and lay it on top of your... Uh, uh, your overhead uh, projector. I actually remember somebody uh, using one of those um, back when I first started at IBM in 1997. Somebody still had one of those. Fairly rad for 1995 or now. Well, and you know we were still using overhead projectors back in those days. Uh, so this is the uh, 600C. This was really uh, one of the first moves to towards thinness and lightness. You know where the the form factor of the system really started changing to something. We were taking more height out of the, the vertical and making it thinner. You can see it's reduced in size, and then it gets right. radically reduced by 2001 <laughs> with this Japan uh, and Asia only model. Right, this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, I was actually in Japan with IBM on assignment at the time that this was released. The uh, ThinkPad S30, uh, as you say, only Japan and um, and Asia. One of the thinnest and lightest laptops at the time. Now, you know, three pounds. 10 inches is not so uh, impressive, but it was uh, deadly impressive back yeah. in the day. The last one here is a real curiosity from 2001. All right, this is the ThinkPad TransNote, and uh, for any of you who ever use this or know anything about it, you will notice that this is uh, actually one of the most rare models of this that were made, and I'll tell you why. This has a fold-out um, fold paper that you can write on, and it uh, wasn't produced in, in huge um, huge numbers, and, and so they're they're relatively rare these days. But it was our first attempt, really, at something like tablet. It did have a touch screen, but the main point of it, I guess you could say, was to actually write on the paper and have it digitize yep. what you wrote at the time. Love it, and the of course, this view of uh, yep. systems. There's been 11 years that have elapsed since then. Of course, uh, you're yep. seeing some of that other uh, coverage coming in our ThinkPad 20th. So thanks for being with us. All right, thanks. It's loose. All right, it's done.